She just jumped up here about two minutes ago, so I had to start the camera. I had to plug it in. What's up, Tigress? She's my marmalade pussycat mama. She's the matriarch of my house. That's right. She, the other three cats, this is their mother. Yeah, they all love mama. Mm -hmm. So do I. And she loves me. She comes and sleeps with me every night. Thing is, I don't stay sleeping all night. She could sleep like a rock, this cat. Yeah. Curls right up next to me. She doesn't purr very loud. You gotta kind of listen for it. Jody there, you could hear her purring. You know, if she's in the room, you could probably hear her purring if she starts purring loudly. Jody, she's got a loud purr box, but she's got the tiniest little mouse of a meow that comes out of her. Yeah. Simba, he's like the opposite. He's got a set of pipes on him. He's a vocal kitty cat. He likes to meow sometimes. He says, I love you. And I got Patches tries to say it, but she, she doesn't really say it. But my Simba, he does the three meows. I love you. Meow, meow, meow. He does it at the door when he wants me to let him out. I built an enclosure for them up here on the top floor. It's only three floors up, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're on the top floor, third floor. And they got their own enclosure there. Chicken wire and tool cloth tied together like that. And I shaped it overhead so they can't get out they try sometimes a bird will fly by and they just say fuck it and they jump excuse my language and they hit that chicken wire and it, I mean it saves their life because they don't have wings they can't fly after the bird although they think they can sometimes you know, there's, my pussycats are smart, but, you know, and they look in the mirror sometimes, like monkeys, too, you know, a little bit. And they know they're looking at them. They see themselves. They see their reflection. They're smart enough to know it's them. You know, they're self-aware. But, I don't know, they... They don't have fingers, they, they use their claws, like, their claws are their fingers. I've seen they pick up their jingle balls sometimes with the claw. This one here would get up on the big 55 gallon fish tank and she used to, she used to, the placos, the little sucker fish, and they'd be near the top, and there used to be, my glass didn't cover it all. There had to be a gap for the waterfall to go in. And she would just stick her claw in there and grab them and eat them. I caught her. I was wondering, where are all my Placos going? Couldn't even find the carcass, you know, if they died in the tank. Because she was eating them. Yeah, she was a wild animal. My vet said this animal was born in the wild. She had all the diseases of eating the mice and the birds and stuff. She had Giardia, Giardia worm, and the colon. Oh, she's purring. Nice. Tigress. Pussycat Mama. There's a pussy cat named Boomer. No. Dr. Lanza says that Boomer's healthy and he doesn't have 
anything contagious if he gets caught I hope he gets caught I want to go out there and catch him myself uh, but I'm not I'm waiting for the phone call my trucks empty you just gotta fill the tank John I got money to get out there don't worry I got I got two hundred dollars in my pocket. That's enough to fill my tank and make a, a trip to Jersey and back. I think. Hell, you're only about a forty-five minute ride. I believe that's if I don't hit traffic. It could be a two-hour ride if I hit traffic, though. I used to make it from here in Stanford. I would. Our office was right on the. Merritt Parkway exit ramp and uh, exit 35 High Ridge Road and I used to when they needed me to drive and not take the train I would just jump on the parkway and in 28 minutes I would cross the bridge up into northern Manhattan it would take me another 15 minutes to get down to Restaurant Row, 46th Street, and uh, the Intrepid. All right, on the West Side Highway, and I would, I would shoot down 46th, hit this little parking lot I knew. They always had a space for me. Now. I used to be on the corner of 46th and 8th. I used to spend a lot of time on that corner. 46th and 8th in Manhattan. That was my focal point. I used to be a broke, uh, a runner, the only private courier for a ticket brokerage. But what a piece of shit job that turned out to be first year was really good because they treated me with respect and uh, the job is what they said it would be you know uh, I got a number of envelopes I had to go to Manhattan and deliver them sometimes I only had two or three sometimes I had like 15 20 you know. but I would go down there and do my route and be done and I got so good at it I sometimes it would be one hour I'd be in Manhattan for an hour and I'd be looking to come home and I used to get to come home but then all of a sudden after year one oh uh, no you gotta stay down there and they wouldn't give me any more money until near the end they gave me it was like five dollars more a week it was a joke they used to give me $25 a week, and, and, and you couldn't go down there for $25 a day. So they gave me $5 a day. You can't even eat off a hot dog truck for $5 a day in Manhattan. So and they only paid me $24,000 a year salary. So, you know, and I'm handicapped. You know, I got all kinds of problems, and they fucking... You know, trying to keep the roof over my head, it fucking killed me. It ruined me, man. I'm a fucking mess. My feet, my feet are shot. My knees are shot. My hips are shot. My lumbar, you know. It's a long story. It's another story. I ought to, I ought to tell my fucking sob story on here and start a GoFundMe page. I've been attacked. I've been I lost a lot of teeth. And it's not because I don't brush my teeth. I always took care of my teeth. I had beautiful teeth. I never needed braces growing up. And I've only had a couple of cavities my entire life. I take care of my teeth. Uh, this is from being attacked, being a crime victim, getting mugged. You know, it's fucked up. A whole bunch of mi drunken miners, the third Sunday of May, 1996. I didn't want to get into it. Anyway, Ralph Beatty, too. 
I had lost two teeth, and then he came and fucking broke them and two more. Gotta go fucking pull his teeth out of his fucking skull. Form a piece of shit.